Hey everybody, we are going to be looking at how to update the 1.5 version of the software. Uh, we're actually going to be taking, this one's the RC33, and we're going to use the livecrunch.com update. So I have proof if it works or not. So this is my G1, very basic, plain Jane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down here, since I'm working one-handed. Take my USB cable, you know, the standard USB cable. I'm going to plug it into my G1. Okay, so now that's plugged in, we're going to get a little icon right there. So what I'm going to do, thumb down, mount, you see that right there, you mount it. And it's now like a hard drive. Okay. So as you can tell, I'm running Linux. And so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to cancel this. Now it says you have to do it on Windows, PC, or Mac. Um, I do have one of each. Um, but I decided to try it here. So I've already gone and downloaded the update, which I'm now going to rename. And we're going to name it up update it's going to be update.zip and now I'm going to go and open it's going to open it up and we're going to move this and drag into here and drop it straight in the root partition of the SD card. Then what I gotta do is actually go ahead and unmount it. And yeah, we'll go ahead and empty trash. So that's it. That's all we have to do from the computer. So now, as I follow the instructions, power down the G1. Power it off. Yes. Okay. This is going to be tricky as well. So now we press power and then press home. We hold it till we see a little triangle. There it is. Alt L Alt S and it's going through the update. Okay? You'll see this little icon. Alright, so I'm gonna set this down so nothing can happen to it. And I'll be back. It'll probably be close to about two or three minutes, but uh, actually it looks like it's gonna be close to about ten but you won't notice a difference. Alright guys, it's been a couple minutes. Um, as you can see, the bar still has a little bit to go. But I want you to see as much of it as you can, so... Installation complete. Press home plus back to reboot. So I did that. Press and hold home and back. Writing the radio image. Okay, so that's a good sign, guys. We are looking good. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, so it's actually doing it now. Okay. 
here we are. T-Mobile G1. Let's see, beautiful. Oh, there we go. There's the install. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Ish. I'm not sure. Don't mm, don't remember seeing this in here, so hopefully I haven't foobarred my phone. That would suck. Oh, look at that. There it is, guys. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, my goodness. Now, I'm probably going to pay for this by being an early adopter, but you know what? I really don't care. Mm-hmm. Taking a little bit longer to load up. Oh, lights. We have lights. We have lights. And... Oh, look at that. Get service. Come on. Get service. T-Mobile. Oh, let's look at this. <gasps> it saved it. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Guess what? Oh, browser. Google. All right. Uh, let's see this on screen keyboard. There it is. Look at that. All right. Let's go home. Let's see what new is in here. Camcorder. I can record myself recording myself now. It is a little laggy. I'll have to give it that. But you know what? I'm good with it. Okay. Okay. That is 1.5. I'm sorry for the picture quality. There we go. There was the camcorder, and I gotta go back. There's the camcorder. The on screen keyboard. I'm up to 1.5. So, again, I can't thank these guys enough. Go to livecrunch.com. Look up the article that was done on the 27th. Go ahead and, if you want, just type in update G1 manually. Make sure it's the US version as it states right here. This is the Cupcake US version. Okay? And that's it. So enjoy. <laughs>